In this video, we're gonna be talking about the little things I do the day before my marathon. Welcome to the last video in this series this week. And this is coming out on Saturday, the day before my marathon. It is Wednesday and I'm just about packed. I know you probably won't be able to see that back there, but I'm pretty much packed and ready to go. Looks what's, uh, look what has arrived. If I could speak, that'd be awesome. Live on here, so you can follow me um, tomorrow if you want. We are 3233 three, people. I don't know if that's focused or not on the camera, but we are 3233. Three, three. So if you want to follow along on the app and see how we're getting on, um, hopefully I'm absolutely crushing it. Um, but who knows? But anyway, like I said, so to finish off this little mini series, if you've not seen the other videos, check them out. I wanted to talk today just uh, a little bit about what I do the day before because it's, it's come up a few times on the podcast. I've seen some comments about it on the Facebook group. So I thought it'd be a good day um, on the day before the marathon to talk about it. So let's assume your race is on a Sunday like mine. Uh, what I tend to do on a Saturday is to go and do park run. It's something that I've done recently and I found just doing three relatively slow miles has actually helped me uh, and got me at the end of a taper sort of race day ready. Uh, it's always hard at the end of the taper. You're sort of raring to go, but at the same time you're a little bit nervous. And I've just found by doing a park run on a Saturday, it's kind of got me a little bit in the mood, uh, ready for Sunday. So I would recommend, even if you don't do part run, but you try and get out there and do just a real gentle three miles. In terms of eating, fueling, and all that kind of stuff, I'd have had breakfast before part run, uh, mostly porridge. And then um, during the day, I'm pretty much nibbling, eating small, little, and often. And I have my sort of main meal, uh, which is the more carb-based food, um, at lunchtime. So I'll have my big bowl of pasta at lunchtime. Um, why do I do that? It's because I like to give myself plenty of time for it to digest. I don't want to feel bloated on the Sunday. Um, and I just have found that by having it at lunchtime, it just, I don't know, it just suits me a little bit better than normal like, and, and like eating later, I mean. So then in the evening, I'll just have something, I'll still have something carby, bit a bit of protein in there, but just a little bit lighter. It might even just be like a, a medium size or small pizza or something like that, but something that's relatively easy to digest, not late at all, um, and I can just digest that down. And so that's no later than six o'clock, usually on the day before a race. So after part run, uh, I'm pretty much chilling out, although I do like to stay relatively active. Uh, like, sounds funny, but I might cut the grass or, uh, you know, take buds for a walk. You know, nothing like strenuous, but just take him out for a walk. So I'm chilling mentally, but I'm not just laying down and doing nothing. I really find that the more active I am, the, help, uh, the, the better it helps me. Obviously, I'm trying not to tire myself out. But um, a little walk here with the dog or, you know, cut the grass. Oh, I've got a very small garden. <laughs> but uh, so those sort of things tend to work for me. So I just try and stay a little bit active, but keep my mind active more than anything else. Usually late afternoon, I'm packing up uh, my bags. It's a little bit different because we've got Edinburgh, so I'm, you know, Wednesday's packed uh, and we're ready to go. But usually the, in the middle afternoon, late afternoon, I'm thinking about what I need for uh, race day. Uh, so the stuff's out. Uh, every bit of kit's laid out, make sure I've got everything, got my gels, got whatever I need in terms of hydration in the morning. So, I don't know, bottle of water or, or whatever I'm taking. So I've got that all planned out and it's all ready. Um, and we've gone through the kit and things like that, so you'd see that. So it's a little bit different with Edinburgh. Um, I've done the same process, but I've basically done it today. And I've laid down and I put that in my case. So it's the same process, but just three or four days early but i try and do that middle afternoon and again that's like after whatever i've done in terms of activities to keep my mind active um i do that just before we go into that sort of yeah that dinner evening part of the day so yeah i'll just then like i say have the have the like lighter meal in the evening and then it's basically just chilling in front of the tv not overdoing it. and even if like edinburgh and i was i was away you know when we were away at edinburgh i'll just be chilling in the evening watching some tv watching some film uh films switching off completely from what I've got on the next day, not worrying about it, not focused on it. I know what time I've got to get up. I know what time I've got to be there. I know what time I'm looking to run. I know what time I'm coming home. All that sort of stuff I've already digested and taken care of. I'm literally just working through the process of getting myself to bed with plenty of time. And I do like to try and get an early night, although I never, ever sleep well uh, the day before a marathon. I don't know what it is. I've got no idea. I'm always the same. I never can sleep. Uh, a day before a marathon that's just me the way I am um, yeah it's a funny old thing but 
you know, any advice to you is to, is to get as much sleep as you can. Um, but yeah, so if you can't get any sleep, don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. So really don't worry about it. But yeah, I try and get an early night. So I think that's it in terms of the day before. I think the, the main things to take away from that is that I'm not just sitting about. I'm quite active. Um, that's the key for me. The thing that's really important apart from the eating side of things is to hydrate the hell out of yourself. So making sure you're drinking loads and loads of water, maybe some extra electrolytes, just get yourself nice and hydrated uh, the day before is always helpful, especially if you've done a flight or something like that, or even just travelled in general. Um, that's the other sort of key. But yeah, I think my message to you um, is, to, is to try and stay active ahead of that race, ahead of that event, um, mentally and physically. I think it helps big time. So there you go, guys. That's the end of the series. That's the end of this video. Um, it is Saturday, like I said, uh, when you're watching this. And tomorrow's go day. So wish me luck. Let me know in the comments. Um, really, really appreciate the support you've given me through this training series that we have done on the channel. You can obviously go into the playlist and look back at all these videos from when we started out. Uh, this journey for the 3:45 at Edinburgh. So maybe that's something. Do a bit of binge watching. Think about it like that. Think about it like Netflix. Um, just with loads of ads from YouTube. Let <laughs> me get off here. <laughs> that made you really drive me nuts. Anyway, I can't help that. So yeah. So um, let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully, I see some of you out there on the course on Sunday. But yeah, I'll catch up with you when I get back. Uh, we'll do some sort of debrief videos. We'll obviously have the vlog that will come out uh, once I've edited that and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. End of the training. End of this training block. It's been great. It's been eventful. Um, but I feel good. So let's get stuck in and um, yeah, let's do this. Mm -hmm.